Welcome to this video where I am going to be giving away yet another industry secret. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can grow your topical authority using my content machine generator. This is completely free. You don't have to sign up for anything. There's no course, anything like that. But if you do want to say thank you, go to my go to the link in the description and become a member. Totally optional. Don't care if you do that or not, but just thought I'd throw that out there. Also, this is part of my playlist. So if you go to my channel and then I will leave a link to the playlist, this playlist right here, step by step topical authority building using AI. Basically, if you want to know how I found the keywords for this article, for example, then this playlist has everything. If you want to know what I'm talking about when I'm talking about topical authority, semantic SEO, etc., this is the playlist for you. However, if you're looking just to create that bulk content without paying for any expensive tools, then just go to the description, find the link to this Google Sheet, and let's get into it. Now, please do not request access to the Google Sheet. You do not need access to it. Instead, what you need to do is you need to go to file and make a copy, okay? And then press make a copy. You do not need access to edit it, okay? The way this works is you will put your keywords here. And if you wanna know how to find keywords, again, I'm just using something like keywordtool.io. I type in something like the word attire, and then I go to questions, okay? So that's simple. Don't wanna mess around with you know, complicated, expensive keyword methods. That's literally all I do. Click here, copy them, or instead find the ones that are good for your niche and press copy on them. Once you have a list of keywords, just control V them into the keyword section right here. Then what you wanna do is you want to click on extensions, add-ons, get add-ons, and then you wanna type in uh, GPT for sheets right here. And you want to find this one that is uh, made by Telerian. Click on it, install it. Obviously, I can't because it's already installed. So just press install right here. And then you want to go to uh, your API keys on OpenAI. And if you've got too many, provoke a key. But I doubt anyone has 25 secret keys like I do. Press create a new secret key. And then press create and then copy it. Okay, I am gonna delete that immediately just in case anyone is thinking of using my API. Then go back on here and you can see already this has been activated for me. So I've just paused that real quick. So click on extensions, GPT for sheets, and then set API key. Once this loads, you wanna just control V your API key right here, okay? And then you want to, this will actually start generating the content right here, right now, okay? So the way this works is we have an article generated, we have a key takeaway table generated, and we have a further reading table generated. Some things that you may have to change, okay? You wanna click on default settings and view advanced settings, and you wanna put the max tokens, you know, as high as it will possibly let you put them. but we are using GPT 3.5, so if you scroll all the way down to the prompt, okay, you can see it is using 3.5, turbo 16K. The reason for that is because if you try to use GPT 4 here instead, it will not load and it will time out. So I'm just using 3.5, even though it says that the default settings here are um, GPT 4, that is not what I'm using, okay? I'm using 3.5. You can play around with the creativity, the temperature, but again, it's actually set in the prompt here. I'm using 0 0.8 uh, temperature. So if you wanna change it, change it in the prompt, not in this uh, setting right here. You do need to make sure that the tokens are put uh, reasonably high here though, because for some reason it, it's like connected, but not connected. I don't know how to explain that, but uh, just make sure the max tokens are reasonably high. And I would recommend putting this on GPT-4 just because for some reason, again, I can't really explain why. It seems to work better when you have GPT-4 selected here, even though we're not using GPT-4. Anyway, once you've done that, you wanna control C on the article right here, and you wanna to go to markdown to html.com, which is just the best editor in my opinion. Control A here and then control V to paste and then press delete once. And then go to the top and press delete again. 
Then you want to go to the key takeaway table, click after the first line and press enter twice and then control V and then delete and then delete the um, speech marks. And then finally, further reading table, scroll all the way down to the bottom. Under the conclusion, you want to do the same again, delete, delete. Now we have a full article, okay? And look at that, we have internal links, we have internal links to our, um, yeah, to our uh, blogs as well, which is really, really nice. Although I don't like the way that it's created the, the internal links here are not perfect, but I mean, it's not the end of the world, to be honest with you. You can just do a couple of things here. You could either um, change the text inside the square brackets. So we could say complete guide to owning an Italian cut designer suit. Or you can just ignore it and just hope that nobody cares. Basically, they're, they're your two options. Once you've got the preview, you can control A, control C, docs.new. This is what I like to do after writing any article, regardless of whether I'm using the method I'm showing you now or whether I'm using ChatGPT or whatever it might be. And then what you want to do is you want to go to tools and then just give it a quick word count. This is only 777 words. I've done this a few times now. The average is about 1000, to be honest with you. So I'm not sure why it's suddenly giving me much less. But this is only the first stage because remember, we have eight keywords here. So what we can actually do now is we can just drag these down. You can drag all of these down. I would wait for the key takeaway table specifically because the key takeaway table reads the article and then creates the table from the article, if that makes sense. So definitely wait for uh, this, uh, the B column to populate before you do the C column, okay? But in general, the further reading one should work perfectly every time and the key takeaway table should also work perfectly every time. Now, if you wanna change a prompt or if you wanna insert your own internal links, okay, what you need to do is you need to double click here and then you can highlight all of my internal links and these are my collection internal links, okay, and press delete. And then what you wanna do is put your collections here or your categories, okay? The way that you can do that is you can go to your website sitemap Okay, so on Shopify, it's just your website slash sitemap.xml. Find the collection one right here and then paste it. And then we have this really, really nice um, Chrome extension from one of my viewers. It's called sitemap to clipboard. Uh, just install this one right here. They've actually just updated it today and it's even better now. So what you can actually do now is you can click here and then press start. Okay. And then what you do is you double click in A or in B2, sorry, highlight all of my internal links for my collections like that, and then just press control V and it will actually give you relative internal links now, which is an amazing update. I really, really like this um, Chrome extension. It makes life so much easier. Again, in D2, you want to double click and you want to highlight all of my internal links here up to kind of the, the last kind of few lines. Then you want to go back. This is Shopify. It also works with WordPress, okay? It's just you, you're going to have to work out how you do it for yourselves on WordPress. I'm using Shopify. Click here, press start again, and then just control V, and then you'll have your blog posts in there as well. Now, a couple of settings on GPT for Sheets. I really don't like cache or cache being on. So I always uh, disable cache just because if I'm trying to create new content, then it's annoying to, you know, um, enable or disable cache every time. So let's take another example, men's cocktail attire. Men's cocktail attire for a wedding. We're gonna do control A, control V. And we're gonna press delete once, which should delete the bottom, yep, the bottom speech mark, and then click at the top and delete that one. And then we'll do the same with the table. So delete and then delete. Don't know, that table looks a bit weird. There's no column three, but you know, whatever. <laughs> at the end of the day, it's auto-generated content, so what do you expect? And then go to the end here, 
delete and delete. Now we've done exactly the same thing. Let's see how many words we've got this time. It looks like exactly the same amount of words, which is fine. It is a little bit annoying that I was testing this before and it was giving me way more words. And then when I make a video about it, suddenly it's being shy and not giving me many words at all. However, the basics of each article is here. This is a really, really fast way to write a lot of content. And I'm sure there's a way to automate the kind of joining everything together as well. If anyone comes up with a way to automate that, then please leave a comment and I'll make a video about that just because it would be nice to be able to automate the process of putting everything together as well. It looks like it's just copied the article there, which is kind of weird, but there you go. So you can see here, I would have already written or edited these three articles. Each one is a little bit under um, 700 words, which is short. I would have liked, there we go, 979. So this one is a bit longer. And yeah, that's basically the process, guys. This is a free automatic generator for content. Uh, you do have to pay for the API. So let's just see how much I've spent playing around with this uh, tonight. So we'll go to usage. Okay, $2. And I probably, I mean, yeah, I, I, I used a lot of playing around tokens as well. I would say, I think it's like less than 20 cents for an article, less than 10 cents for an article. So yeah, there's another free method for you guys. I hope this helps. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.